What's up? Lux1 here playing Berber. And yeah, let's try E4. He plays 1G6. Yeah, this line. H3, I think. Yeah, I didn't really know this. Um, Knight of 6 is, I guess, the main move, but this is also possible. Because now I have to prove what this H3 does. Because we get, well, a strange perk with the inclusion of C6 as well. But, uh, we'll see. I'll just play C4 here. B3, maybe. Let's just put my bishop to B2 and I'll take it from there. My rook on C1. My queen to E2 and my other rook to D1. And uh, this is somewhat ideal, setup wise at least. If he takes with the queen, maybe some bishop a3 tricks in the future. Not yet, but they'll maybe come. Um, yeah. So we've somewhat set up our pieces the way they should be. But now what? Um, so actually I want to play a4, but this b3 pawn is a bit, uh, well, it, it can become weak then, so let's try bishop c3 and then we can maybe play uh, queen b2 next somewhere. I don't know, this is an annoying move. Third thing to take here, obviously. I could take on a 6 and play bishop e4, but, well, let's do that. Ooh. I really need to get used to my my mouse. Is this fine? Probably. So that's a problem that he has this move. Because now our whole setup is just bad. Still within the draw regions, but as it's opposite colored, the colored bishops. And but yeah, this is far from ideal. Maybe we have this now, yeah. So he has to take on uh, d5, I guess. That ending should be uh, easily holdable. Uh, let me think if we want to have two rooks or one. Where did I lose all this time? Down to one minute. Or is this guy just insanely fast? Yeah, this should be pretty easy. If he plays f4, I'm gonna play b5 probably. Um. Okay, so let us think here, because there are some pitfalls here. For one, uh, well, this setup, what is he gonna do now? Because if he goes away from the sixth, we have this rook c6, like so. Here we can even choose, probably gonna play this. And that's it here. If he checks me on h2, oh. I'm not 100% sure of this ending, if we can draw it or not. Well, I'm guessing we can. Yeah, we can. If he takes an h6, it's a draw. Well, at least. It's at least a draw. Probably even better for me. No, it's just a draw. He's going to take b5, I'm going to take f4. Yeah. So if I go to h5, he's probably going to play king f5, so... Draw? Yeah, so let's have a look. Um, pretty interesting game. So 
So it's pretty fun this opening this g6 and bishop g7 because he can even play c5 here. And if we take, you can take here and this, these pawns are not worth as much. So c5 is definitely a move here. c6 is also a good move. Also you can play d6 because then you get into the pirk. Pirch, I don't know how to pronounce it. But d5 here, yeah. H3 is, I think, the main move here, and Knight F6 is the main uh, main move. Uh, the idea being C5 here. Um, but taking on E4, yeah, I think it's playable. Um, maybe I shouldn't castle and just take there, because he's gonna play Knight F6 anyways. And or well, if we castle, we get the same position, so that doesn't really matter. This is the same. Yeah, yeah, it's the same. Um, it's interesting though, because it seems like my setup is fine. Usually I don't play this c4, but in this variation my d4 pawn isn't really weak, so... Because normally I try and just hold the spawn and play c3 but uh, seeing it as it otherwise can maybe become a bit weak but now we can just play okay play uh, b3 and bishop b2 yeah seems like I'm just Slightly better. Yeah, he maybe has got something like this knight h5 just to go to uh, f4 But I've got uh, some space advantage and some structural advantage. I think this bishop here is better than mine on b2 though So taking there seems natural a3 is what the engine wants to play but I doubt that's something because why? You're just weakening your own pawn structure. Uh, I didn't think about this queen h5 move, which he was gonna do. So maybe we can move our knight somewhere, maybe knight e5, but yeah, still move like this is pretty annoying. Because we now, now we can't really play um, bishop e4 because of this cheapo. So yeah. I don't know. This feels like a natural move, but Queen H. Oh, he went for a5 first. Queen H5 here is pretty annoying. He's just gonna take a take an a3 and get a double pawn. Bishop takes f6 is bad. Oh, what I did in the game, I just missed that he could take an a3 in between. So maybe I should do something else. Bishop b4, just attack d4, just attacking b6. Take an f3, take an f3, take an f3, take an f3. And this, yeah. So we've got a somewhat worse structure now, but we've we've got the bishop here, so it's probably somewhat balanced. He can really disrupt my position with a move like this, but. It doesn't really do anything because now we can even double our rooks. So maybe bishop d4 was the best here. Bishop takes f6 definitely isn't because now we get an ending where uh, black is the only one with winning chances, I believe. But f5 here, yeah. Bishop d5 seems to quite easily hold. Takes, 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 c takes. I could also take with the other rook, but I was afraid of moves like this, and I'd have to trade rooks again. So, don't really see a difference here. Uh, if he doesn't do uh, rook f7, I'm, I'm gonna get behind the pawn, and this should be an easy draw. Because you always want to get your rook behind the, the passer, or the pawn, at least, not the passer. I can maybe even play h4 here, which just restricts this g4, uh, g5 idea and what is it gonna do? I'm just gonna pass now and he's got no no plans
but yeah this is still quite easily a draw I managed to almost uh, screw it up in the end maybe I even screwed it up I don't know the engine believes Black is winning here although I highly doubt it this should still be a draw H4 probably Yeah, this should still be a draw, I think. Because what is he gonna do? Just gonna go behind. And there are no easy ways to solve this F4 problem. And nah, this is a draw. So, uh, but it it was a chance for him. In rook d5 instead of king d5. Yeah, I could have also took on h6 if he takes on f3 we're taking on uh, b6 and this is also a draw Ooh, not if he does that but rook f6 and this is just a draw if he doesn't go to g3 I'm just gonna attack it and win the pawn eventually and no worries king e4 probably just gonna check just taking it so yeah also still fine yeah still draw luckily uh, king h3 I just didn't want to give him the pawn but this is also a draw so this is pretty interesting still if he goes to king e3 it's a lose losing attempt because of king g4 and he's in uh, Zugzwang but yeah he can take b5, I can take f4 this is just an easy draw because we both queen... oh! <laughs> not here you have to move this one first because um, this is a way to lose for him still pretty fun and you have a check on c8 and the king is uh, has to go to the b-file and then snack but yeah it's uh easily holdable for both and he's just got a perpetual if I go king h5 king f5 is is a bit uh unlucky is what you'd call it I guess so king h4 so that's that well, I hope you guys enjoyed and see you next time bye bye